Here in India, of course, we sympathize with the situation in Bangladesh. Like its neighbor, India too struggles with road safety and has a poor record in the matter. The statistics are alarming, to say the least. In India, more than 150,000, 1,50,000 people are killed every year in traffic accidents, and this is a conservative estimate. That's about 400 deaths a day, far higher than developed auto markets like the United States, which in 2016 logged about 40,000 deaths in a year. There is one death every four minutes in India due to a road accident and these are the documented numbers we are talking about. India's national capital, New Delhi, tops the list of cities with the highest number of road accident deaths. Over the last few years, there's been a marginal decline in road accidents. But what's significant is that the number of deaths has increased. India infamously features among the top 10 countries with the most dangerous roads across the globe. India ranks at number 7. So why is this record so bad? Speeding is the biggest problem. Speeding vehicles caused more than 66% of all road accidents, 61% of deaths in 2016. The use of mobile phones while driving is another key factor. And it is a growing concern with every second individual in India using a cell phone now. In 2016, more than 2,000 deaths were a result of a driver using a cell phone. Much like Bangladesh, road safety regulations are often overlooked in parts of India. Pothole-ridden roads are a common sight in most Indian cities. Every monsoon, deaths due to potholes make headlines. Trucks and lorries driving in the wrong direction, jumping the red light, aggression on the roads are what compound the problem. Disregard for traffic norms is not just among vehicle owners, but also pedestrians. Children and bicycles are often seen spontaneously crossing the road, leading to massive car pileups. We see deaths and headlines in India. We see campaigns with celebrities. But this country hasn't seen a protest of this magnitude to demand road safety.